Hello everyone and happy Sunday to all and welcome to my channel. I am Talisha, also known as Creativity by T. And if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and for your support. So today I have a special make and collaboration to share with you in honor of Ankara Appreciation Week. So if you have not heard, Juliet Utzer and Lena King on Instagram launched Ankara Appreciation Week for the first time last year. And because they had such an overwhelming response, they decided to do it again this year. So with that being said, if you don't know, you may want to know what Ankara is. And to answer that question, Ankara is a fabric that is 100% cotton with vibrant colors and patterns. And it is made through a wax resistant dyeing technique called batik. So again, the fabric is usually colorful with mostly large prints and is primarily associated with Africa because of its tribal like patterns and themes. Um, Ankara is commonly known as Ankara prints, uh, African prints, African wax prints, Holland wax, and also Dutch wax. The fabric is also very versatile and many items can be made from it such as hats and earrings, garments and necklaces, pur purses and many more. You, the options are endless. Although Ankara fabrics are associated with the African culture, uh, its origins are not wholly African and the reason for that is because Dutch wax prints started as mass-produced imitations of Indonesian batik fabric. It was originally intended for the Indonesian market but found a more enthusiastic market in West Africa where it became symbols of traditional and high quality fashion and from West Africa this fabric spread to other parts of Africa and all over the world and here I am today in the United States of America sharing my Ankara fabric for Ankara Appreciation Week. <laughs> so now that you have been given a little history behind Ankara fabrics, we can go into the details of this make that I am wearing and my special collaboration. So for today's make, I partnered with Rochelle of Rochelle.Handmade Designs and we came together to make a special garment for today's theme which is Showstopper. So if you don't know about the themes on Instagram for Ankara Appreciation Week, there is a theme for every day of the week beginning back on the 12th of this month all the way up until today and the funny thing about this collaboration is that we only knew about the dates of the appreciation week and we had no clue that each day of the appreciate would have a different thing and we had already planned on our own that we would share our makes during the week of things that we have already made and then on today which is the last day we would come out banging with our special make and our collaboration and it's so funny that our thoughts happen to be pretty much the same idea as the host of this Ankara Appreciation Week so I thought that was pretty neat. Anyway uh, Rochelle and I connected to do this collaboration because she had watched one of my last hauls which was titled, titled Happy Mail and she noticed that I purchased four new Ankara fabric prints and she messaged me to let me know that she had the same fabric in her stash so we decided to collab and make a special garment out of the same fabric for this occasion. Now I don't know which pattern she used uh, to make her special make for today and she doesn't know which pattern I picked out but we both wanted to include ruffles. So ruffles is our main 
theme and I am super excited to see what she has made. So I will leave all of Rochelle's information in the description box below so that you can go over to her channel and to her Instagram account and check her out. Rochelle has a lot of great content including step-by-step -step sew alongs and various types of sewing series. So again, definitely check her out and I'll leave that information below. So now we will get into the meat of what I made for this collaboration. So I made a jumpsuit and I used McCall's 8203 View A, which is a rumper. However, I did not want to make a rumper, so I used the full length of the pattern pieces to make this garment into a full jumpsuit that is shown in views B and C, and I will go ahead and put an image in the screen so that you can see that. So again, um, for the pattern type, it's uh, one of the big fours. I paid $1.99 on sale for this pattern at one of the many, many sales that they continue to have, which I am not mad about. <laughs> the description is Mrs. Rumpers jumpsuits and sash with A, B, and D, C, and D cup sizes that are available. And I did cut into a D cup. So the skill level is considered to be easy. However, there is a lot going on within this pattern and I do not feel like it would be easy for a beginner. I don't think it's really considered easy. The pattern requires gathers, installation of an invisible zipper, uh, front and back facings, a bunch of pattern pieces are in here and that, like I said, I don't feel like that's considered easy it's easy for me but it's time consuming and there's a lot of different techniques that you need to use so um, there are a total of 18 pattern pieces within this pattern and I ended up using 12 to complete this jumpsuit which is a lot for me because I usually have fewer maybe about seven or eight pattern pieces for the things that I typically make um, but that's okay because the more pattern pieces you use the more detailed the garment is so it's fine um, the recommended fabric for this pattern is poplin, uh, cotton blends, denim, chalets, and um, things like that. The pattern sizing is from size 6 to 24 and the size that I cut was an 18 which worked out perfectly in my opinion. Um, I do think it turned out to look like what the pattern cover displayed and the instructions for this pattern was super easy. I had no issues at all. What I particularly liked about the pattern was um, I was drawn to this pattern because of the ruffles. Like I said, our theme was ruffles. And the thing about the ruffles that I like the most is that it is attached from the front to the back all the way around and I was like yes I am here for that <laughs> so yes the entire neckline is full of ruffles um, from front to back and you know I just think that that adds such a voluminous detail to the garment and it makes it extra fancy in my opinion and I am all about fancy <laughs> I also like the square neckline. I think the ruffles and having the square neckline in the front and the back. I, I mean, I, 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 it's, it's just the bomb to me. I love it. I love it. I like the gathers that are at the shoulders on the sleeve. Um, I like the gathers at the sleeve band. Um, so there's gathers at the sleeve band and the darts on the back of the bodice and the front of the bodice for shaping. Um, of course I like the pockets and um, there are also gathers I don't know if I said it but in the front of the pants and I like the option of having a sash. Um, what I disliked about the pattern um, it was not very much the only thing that I disliked about the pattern is that on the front cover it shows the model's jumpsuit touching her ankles so it kind of it gives it the appearance of normal length pants but I have an issue with my pants always flooding 
So I always measure the length of pants pattern pieces to see if it's long enough for me uh, because I don't want to flood. Uh, well, I measured the longest pattern piece for the pants and it measured much shorter than my legs. So I added an additional four inches to the length of the pattern piece. Um, I didn't think I would actually have to use all four inches, but I did. And I could only make a half inch hem at the bottom of the pants because if I hemmed it any wider, I would have been flooding. I mean, so I, I don't understand that. So, so what I am trying to say is the longest pattern piece is for a cropped look because there's no way I would naturally need an additional four inches to be added for a pattern to be pants. And, um, well, at least I don't think so. So, um, I did not make any pattern alterations other than adding the four additional inches to the leg pattern piece. And, um, but, oh, I did add eight inches onto the sash so that it can hang a little longer. And the only suggestion that I would make is just, if you want to make sure that you are actually wearing pants, check the length so that it actually goes to the floor. I would definitely sew this again. I think it looks so royal and African queenish. Yes. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm very, very happy. Very, very satisfied with how this turned out. Um, I didn't do anything special um, to make this project um, complete. Um, and I would definitely, definitely recommend it to others. The fabric that I used is 100% African wax print fabric and Cara fabric. So I purchased this fabric from African, from Afric clothing store on Esty. And the reason why I made this is because I made this pattern in particular um, with this view because I wanted to change up what I had been making because I have been making a lot of dresses for my fruity fabric collection series. And because I feel most comfortable in dresses, but I don't want everything that I make and everything in my wardrobe to look identical or the same exact style, but I still want to look nice. So I wanted to go ahead and try this out. Um, I also picked this up because of the ruffles. So uh, I wanted to change up the style and I wanted to add ruffles and honey, the ruffles from front to back just, again, it did it for me. So for accessories, I am wearing chandeliers once again, except for they are in this bumblebee yellow and it matched perfectly. This blue necklace is just something I've been having for years and so I just paired it with it because it matched. I do feel like this jumpsuit looks very classy, expensive, and royal, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I made sure that I did not rush on this project, and I didn't work on it while I was sleepy. And I have to say that it is constructed very, very well. It's a very well-constructed garment. Um, it turned out exactly like the models, which has a boxy type of look to it because of the square uh, neck neckline and the way the pants are um, structured. You know, it just it it's just a really good silhouette and it works okay for my body at least in my opinion it does um, I typically have issues with the bodice being shorter on me at the waistline than it's supposed to be um, but I did not have that issue with this pattern so I'm very very satisfied with the fitting um, of this um, and, and so that that turned out really well so that is my review and collaboration on McCall's 8203 for Ankara Appreciation Week. I hope you like my garment and if you did, please click the like button so that I know you like it and leave a comment below to let me know what you think about the garment. Let me know what you think about the collaboration and let me know what you think about the information that I shared about Ankara fabric. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned because the next video that will be coming out will be the orange dress that is going to be part of my fruity fabric collection. So when I say orange, I actually mean the orange fruit. <laughs>
If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and do so to make sure that you are notified whenever my videos are uploaded. And I thank all my returning subscribers for coming back and showing support. I am excited to share and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.